I'm like 175 pounds. I'm sitting on the sitting on the top of this breaker bar still, and I won't. Oh. Well, that didn't work. The belt snapped. All right, guys. So uh, somebody uh, messaged me to do uh, this uh, belt trick on the Honda crank bolt. So this is it. This is going to be your lucky day watching this. Removing this crank bolt is a nightmare. All you guys know, especially Honda. People that have done this before, you know how frustrating. Try so many things. Uh, you could uh, imagine to take this thing out, heat it up, torch it, impact. Impact with a nice uh, impact gun will work. Uh, all I got is this, a belt, good old belt, and a breaker bar, strong arm with a 19 socket. Because it's not on the vehicle, uh, this is what I'm going to do. It's, uh, this is an old power string belt, so you can put it on the big uh, round pulley or the smaller one. This crank spin counterclockwise, so you're going to tuck it in the upper belt here, tuck it in, and then... Uh, if you have the alternator and power steering and AC pulleys here, you could uh, go around that pulley after. But in this case, on my setup, I don't have those. So I'm going to have to uh, tuck it in on that bolt right there. Going to go like that. And then uh, take out the slack. There we go. It will gouge this belt. It will compress. It will hold the... Pull it down, and then uh, it will snap the bolt loose. So here we go, guys. Better to uh, instead of pulling this thing up, better stronger if you want to push it down. So you go on the other side, and we're gonna push this thing down. This belt's gonna be garbage anyway, so you have to use the old belt. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Wow! I'm worried because this engine is probably gonna fall on me. Alright, so I put a steel bar underneath here to the floor, underneath the oil pan, so this thing is nice and solid when I press this strong arm. All right, let's try this again. I move the bar, adjust it. Man, I'm sitting on the on the breaker bar. It still won't go down. Yep. Ugh. I'm like 175 pounds. I'm sitting on the sitting on the top of this breaker bar still, and I won't. So you can see uh, that bar is not long enough to snap this bolt crack open. I have to put more a uh, little snap into it. You know, quick snap, okay? Quick snap on this uh, breaker bar, and then hopefully we'll crack the bolt. Like that. <clears throat> oh my god, it just won't budge. All right guys, so this is the next following day. There's a strap around that engine on top of that engine hoist. So I got a nice good solid base. So it's not gonna sway when I try to crank it. And I got a really long belt now. Finally got a long belt. I had to go back home and get this. Let's uh, wrap this around here. This thing can go wrap around three times. So it's really long. So it goes around like this. goes like that. 
So we're gonna take a slack on that belt, just go around. Yeah, it's hitting here. That's a lot of stress on that. All right, here we go, guys. Hopefully this work now. Got the strap on the engine, long belt. Here we go. Wow. Oh, okay. It's not coming out. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna try this again. I got the uh, strong arm breaker bar, solid head. Put it like that. And then I got this extension uh, PVC piping. Pretty thick wall, so you're gonna get a good leverage on this. All right, put it in here. Here we go. Wow, this thing is crazy. All right, so I guess this method's not gonna work. It has to be on the ground, so it's not in solid, the engine. So we're gonna have to uh, take this out of the engine stand, bring it up, up on the hoist, and then uh, we'll drop it on the floor, let it sit on the floor while we take out that stubborn crank bolt. Let's see if this works. Alright guys, I have to lay it down on the side so that it's nice and stable, flat, so it's not going to rock on me. Okay, so this is the best way I can do and we're going to crank this bolt out to see how it works. So you see that the engine is nice and solid. Here we go. Oh yeah, it tilt. Tilt. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Dang, I got it. Jesus Christ. This is probably the worst one I ever done. Re removing this crank bolt. She's a tough one. Yeah, look at that. This thing got lots of force. Wow. Some people I heard that uh, they put red or blue Loctite so that this thing won't come out. But god damn, look at this. There's no Loctite or anything. And this is super strong. I'll show you what I've done for my setup here. You're gonna laugh at this. So I use the weight of that transmission to hold it down and uh, so that it won't tilt the engine. That's my setup right there. That's crazy. <laughs> but we got it loose guys. The belt trick. This will be nice and easy if it's on the engine because this is all in the mounts and then it's nice and solid with the, with the car mounts. And you can re remove this with that belt trick right there. Now just uh, spin that pulley and uh, you can get this belt out or you can cut it if you want. Alright, so let's stun her up and uh, bring it back on the uh, engine stand.